Hey folks, Carter again. Alright, we throw on the new expansion version. So, first things first as usual, make sure the server is shut down and stopped. I'm going to go to our FileZilla. Connect to your server. I know which one mine is. One of fucking many. Alright, once we connect to our server, we want to go into our main root folder. There we go, I already have the mask and the mask survival installed, but you can ignore them if you if you don't want to do that map. Just, if you were doing normal Chinoris, they wouldn't even be there. So, we want to add our game, so you want to go to your Steam library, wherever your games are stored, usually on your C folder. Mine's on me, E drive. So you want to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, and then Common, then DayZ, and then Workshop. Alright, then we want to highlight the, the server on the right, the three dots. We scroll down, we'll find CF and Community Online Tools. So there's CF, we'll upload that. Won't take long, small one. We we'll go to community online tools. We'll upload that too. Then we want to upload the four expansion. So here they are here. We'll upload them. And we'll come back when they're finished. Okay, we got all them uploaded to the server, all the expansions. We want to go in now, we want to go to CF. Actually, we'll do the keys first. We'll go into the keys folder, we'll go over to our CF file. Into the keys then. Man, I keep doing that. It's the mouse keeps fucking moving. We upload that into the keys file. The Jacob Mango key. I'm back out there then. Community Online Tools is the same. Developer. So it should be the same key. We'll just skip by that. We want to go to Expansion now. I click into the Expansion. Same again into the keys. Transfer the expansion key over. Back up. I think they're all the same key. Yeah, exact same key for all of them. Alright, once we do that, we back out to our root folder again. We want to take the names out of these now. So, we want to take CF. We'll just copy that name for the moment. We go back to our control panel. Go down to general. We'll scroll down to our mod command line and we'll paste CF in there. Followed by a semicolon. We want to go back. FileZilla. Community online tools now. We want to take the spaces and the dashes and any symbols out between the words. Make it all one word. I'm going to copy that then. We go back to our control panel. Paste that in there. Followed by a semicolon. Now we want to go back to FileZilla. We need to repeat this with all of them. So we want to do expansion next. Get rid of the dashes. Copy the name. We go back to our dashboard again and put it in now. 
followed by a semicolon as usual. We'll go back now, file Scylla. We want to find expansion licensed, which is this one. Exact same process for all of them. Just want to make sure you take out any symbols, dashes, or spaces, especially spaces are a no go. Copy the name. Semicolon. If you forget a semicolon between any two mods, it won't work. We want to do vehicles now. You want them to load up CF, Community Online Tools, Expansion, Expansion Licensed, Expansion Vehicles, and then Expansion Core. And if you're doing them the Namalsk map, you'd, you'd need to load Namalsk in before you load any of them in. Namalsk Survival, and then Namalsk Island, and then followed by CF Cot. Now, and the expansion. Right, where are we? I got a little lost. <laughs> Here's our vehicles. Semicolon. And now just the core. There it is. Just take spaces out. That should be them all renamed. We'll go back to our control panel. We'll just put the last one in. Followed by a semicolon. Doesn't need it, but it does no harm to put it in either. Alright, now we need to go and get your mission file. So, you want to go to this site, I'll leave a link to it. Daisy Expansion Missions. I know one now is missions, we'll do the Namalsk one for this one. So, you'd want to click on the code, go down and download zip. I already have the missions elsewhere. Once you download them, you want to go to FileZilla. You want to scroll down to our multiplayer missions. In here now, you want to go to wherever on your own machine. You want to go to wherever you ha you've stored those missions. So I'll go up to mine. Here somewhere. There they are. So whatever mission you want, then you'd want to transfer it over. I'm gonna go with. We go with expansion regular, and I'll download expansion hard as well. So I'll just take the two of them, and I'll. Upload both of them into my multiplayer missions folder. It won't take long, they're not that, not that big. Okay, we got them uploaded over. We want to go in now to the whichever file you want to take the name of. I will use the expansion hard no mask for this one. So you want to copy that, just the name, we want to back out it out, go back to your control panel, why did I do that, <laughs> go back to our control panel, you want to scroll down now, you want to go to file, ma file browser, click in DayZ standalone, you want to scroll down now, should just check on our multiplayer missions, make sure they are there, yeah, 
there already there. All right, we want to go to our server dz.cfg file. So you want to go to edit that. Then here we want to change in our template mission template. We want to change the name now to expansion hard Namask. So we'll paste that in now. There we go. We save that now. We back up back to our dashboard. So we should be all good to go now. We start it up. Usual, we just give it five minutes, let it fully initialize the mission, the new mission file, and then we'll join. Alright, if you, if you do want to make yourself admin, you just shut the server back down after you join it. Go down to your file browser. Scroll down then to your config folder. Then you want to go into permissions framework. Scroll down, players. That will be you after joining. You just go into edit it then. Change that word from everybody to admin. And just save that. I try to what's going on? Did you save that? By the way, it doesn't show you that. But it did save it. We go back to permissions framework. Don't like the way it does that. <laughs> we go into permissions. That's you again. What we want to do here is Download it. We'll just download it to Notepad++. We take all those zeros. Hold Control, hit F. Go to Replace. Then you want to take the button. You want to type in a 2. Then you want to go to Replace All. That's read only, okay. We can wait with that. Won't let you do that. What I thought I would let you do. So we'll download it. And we'll save the file. We'll open it. Right click on it and go to open container folder. There's your file there. We'll just copy that. We'll scroll down to our files anywhere you want to store it. I know where I'll put mine. I'll just throw it in here for the moment. Then we'll go in and edit it with Notepad++. Same again, we'll highlight the zeros. Hold Control and hit F. Go to Replace. <coughs> Excuse me. We highlight the bottom bar, type in a 2, and then hit Replace All. There we go, that gives you all the admin authority on the server. You want to close that then and save it. Back out. We can close that, we know where it is. We want to delete that file now. Now we want to upload a file. So we're going to upload a file. We'll go back to where we just put that file. And there we go, there's our new file uploaded with full admin access to the server. You just back out to your dashboard again and restart the server and you'll be able to use all the community online tools and expansion settings. Hope that's helpful.
All right. There we go. We'll just pick some more. There we go. Is the man scar loaded up? We don't have any admin. We didn't never set it up. But that's how you do it, folks. I hope, hope this is helpful to somebody who's trying to install the new uh, expansion after 1.10 on your servers. As ever, I'll be back with another video soon. Take care, all.